This week marks one year since the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. This has prompted schools all across the country and also here in Idaho to take extra precaution to make sure students are safe. And that includes schools in the Caldwell School District. Brenda joins us right now with more on this. And Brenda, do all schools in the district have a specific protocol when it comes to school shootings? Yes and no. The district does follow a general plan to cover most emergencies. I went to Lewis and Clark Elementary this week, and in case of shootings, they do follow a lockdown drill, but that they don't call it a school shooter drill. They say that changing the wording of the drills helps students and parents feel safe. Keeping our students and staff safe is the number one thing. If we don't have that going on, then we can't learn. School drills are a regular routine for schools across the nation, and at Lewis and Clark Elementary in Caldwell, it's no different. Some of them include things like your basic fire drill, which is an evacuation drill. We also have a reverse evacuation, for example, which would be getting students back inside the building. We have a hall check process. And with a recent increase of school shootings, school shooter lockdown drills add to that long list of drills. It just makes you more aware of who's outside our building, who's in our building, who's just around, right? It makes you more aware than maybe in the past. A study done by Everytown Research shows 549 incidents involving a gun on school grounds from 2013 to 2019. That includes incidents of homicides and assaults, suicide and attempted suicides, unintentional shootings and mass shootings. I think it's tragic when it happens anywhere, um, you know, especially in schools where, you know, students, students should feel safe and, uh, you know, it's just a tragedy. I mean, it, it's sad. Specific school shooter lockdown drills have been a new normal for some schools across the nation. But is that the case for Lewis and Clark Elementary? The short answer is no. They're not specifically shootings. It could be response to any um, <clears throat> any emergency that's happening around our school building. And so we have a variety of different protocols that could be implemented at any given time. And although they don't have a specific shooter lockdown drill, they do follow lockdown procedures. Principal Dr. Matt McDaniel says changing the language can minimize harm to children. In terms of calling it an active shooter situation, um, I'm hesitant to do that as a school principal because our, I want our students and our school community to feel safe at any given time. At the same time, having procedures in place that would definitely accomplish the same goal. And those experiencing drills directly with students are teachers, like second grade teacher Eric Davis. And they're quiet. We stand by the door. We have a. We can put a chair in the door just for uh, to help us lock it. Gives us extra security. And then you know I'll stand there and I'll just have a desk or chair ready if need be. School resource officers also play a huge part in keeping schools safe. There are six elementary schools in the Caldwell School District, but Dr. McDaniel says they all share one SRO. So we're grateful for what we have, but um, I think there's never a shortage of opportunity for more support for safety in our schools. Caldwell School District works with law enforcement and state officials to adjust their list of protocols and drills as needed. Little by little, we add procedures and protocols. It seems like an endless number of things that we can continue to do to help increase our safety. Davis says that they also rely on parents to help children understand why these drills are important. Um, I think it's important that the parents have those conversations because it just helps us, um, you know, so we can add to it or work with the parents so it's a community effort um, letting them know that, hey, we're keeping you safe. And Dr. McDaniel says that parents have asked him what safety protocols are in place for the school, and he says that every time they have drills, he makes sure to communicate with parents to, of course, keep them in the loop. That's so important. Every parent is wondering mm -hmm. about this, right? And asking their school, what are you doing to keep my child safe? So it's so nice to have all the schools be so transparent yeah. in what they're actually doing. For yeah, our absolutely, kids. the priority there, yeah. keeping the kids safe. Thanks, Brenda.